What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Today is Wednesday, so it is time for some Destiny Zero predictions. Yo, I, I still don't know how this quickscope is even possible. Like, look at that. That shouldn't happen. But anyways, let's get right on into these Zero predictions. Now, we're going to start things out with the Titans this week. Now, I definitely think you guys are getting a helmet. Now, I'm kind of torn between him selling the Takanaut or the Imperium Bellico, so I'm going to put both those up as my predictions for this week. I definitely think he's going to bring a helmet. He hasn't brought a helmet in six weeks, and the last time he brought one was the helmet of the Inmost Light. So I would honestly be pretty happy to see he brought a helmet again. It's been, really, it has been quite a long time. Now, he could also bring some gauntlets as well, but we'll really just have to wait Friday to see. Now, if he does sell the Takanaut, I probably wouldn't even pick that thing up. It's pretty cool, and it does add tracking to any rocket you use. Now, it's obviously kind of useless considering how much they've nerfed heavy lately, but I would pick it up. Maybe there will be some changes in the Rise of Iron we don't really know about yet, so you might want to, you might actually need it come that time. But for now, honestly, I would just stick with the Imperium Bellicose if he sells that instead. Definitely is a little cooler, and it will allow you to float in midair when you're aiming down your sight. So that's actually a pretty cool piece of gear, and it's pretty similar if you're used to the wings on the Warlock that actually do the same thing. Now, for the Warlocks this week, I think you guys are for sure getting a chest piece. Now, last week he did sell the Ram, which is an amazing piece of gear. If you don't have that and you run Void, you definitely missed out, and you really do want to try to get that Ram. Now, this week, I think he's going to sell a chest piece. Other, definitely not the Purifier robes. He definitely just brought those about three four weeks ago. And he also brought the Alchemist Rainmint and Starfire Protocol not too far before that. I think he's going to bring us something a little more rare, and I predicted this last week that he would bring Heart of Praxic Fire, so I still have to stay with that prediction of the Heart of Praxic Fire. It's been 20 weeks since he sold that Heart of Praxic Fire, and I definitely think he's going to be a chess piece this week, and that's definitely the best one to choose. So this week, I have to stick with that Heart of the Praxic Fire. Now, that is a great chess piece. If you run Radiance, it's amazing. It allows you to throw grenades like crazy fast, and all of your Radiance is just buffed even crazier than it already is. So if you use Radiance, definitely pick this chest piece up if he sells it this week and you won't be disappointed with it. It's definitely pretty amazing. Now finally we have the Hunters. Now you guys have been really lucky lately. I'm not too sure what it is, but he brought Bones of EAO like two weeks ago and then he brought Radiance Dance Machines and then he brought Bones of EAO again. I think it's safe to say you guys aren't going to be getting any legs for a while. Now this week I think he's going to bring you guys a helmet as well. It has been quite a while since you guys have received a helmet. You guys have just been getting leg pieces like crazy. Now this time around, I'd really like to hit for him to sell the Skyburner's Annex. It's a really rare piece of gear that came out sometime right after the Taking King. Now this has only been sold by Xur one time, so I'm sure a lot of you guys need this helmet. Now the perks on it aren't all that crazy if you play PvP. Now the only thing that really does is that heavy weapon kills have the chance to create orbs, and orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. So really this is totally a PvE type helmet all the way. I would never really run this in PvP. Now it definitely looks amazing. And I would definitely pick it up if he sells it. I've never seen him actually sell it. I wasn't playing the week that he did. So I really hope he sells this helmet this week. Now for my favorite, the Trosville Cyrus map and the weapon. Now unfortunately, I don't have a guarantee for the map this week. All I have is my prediction, which is Burning Shrine. It hasn't been Burning Shrine in a while, so it's definitely a good chance that it could be Burning Shrine this week. And I would definitely like to see it, because it is my favorite map, and we have not seen that in quite some time. Now, finally, we've got the weapon prediction. Now, we haven't really been getting all that lucky with the weapons lately. Now, we did get the 4th Horseman, which is a pretty rare weapon, but it's not really all that great in PvP or Trials, which is what I like to see the weapon really be related to the most. Now, this week, if it really is Burning Shrine, there's a bunch of weapons I'd like to see, like particularly hand cannons, or even a bad juju or plan C. He hasn't brought any of those in a long time. Now, it, it would be pretty cool for him to even bring, like, Hereafter or Telesto. I could really see him bringing Telesto this week. The last time he sold the 4th Horseman, the week right after, he did sell the Telesto. So that is my official prediction this week, is the Telesto. So hopefully he brings that gun. I know it looks really awesome, and it's not really all that great, but it's definitely one of the best-looking exotics there is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these predictions and this video. So if you did, be sure to smash that like button down below. We're going to try to aim for 50 likes this week. We almost did it last week, and I know we definitely can do it this week, so definitely be sure to smash that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to stay subscribed as well for all the future Destiny content on this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.